What's up everyone? Today I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to set up a screen recorder in C Sharp. So this is actually really simple. It's something that I thought would be a little bit more difficult, but it turns out it's pretty easy. So fire up your Visual Studio and then create a new project. I'm going to create a console application on or no a console app with the .NET framework not the .NET core and I'm going to name this screen underscore recorder and save it in the default directory so once that's created now all that we have to do is add a NuGet package so highlight the project right click go to manage NuGet packages browse and then search for sharp avi and then it's this package by Vasily Maslov install that package and once that's installed now we just need to add another class so highlight your project right click hover over add existing I'm sorry not existing item new item add new item class and we're gonna name this class um, let's see here recorder pro or recorder params dot CS uh, open up that file and then just for time's sake, I'm going to copy and paste everything. Um, it's about 150 lines of code. Not too, too much, but it's a lot easier to just copy and paste it. Um, I will be adding this. I will be making a GitHub repository so you can find this code really easily. And we now need to add two references. We need a reference to system.windows.drawing and then we also need a reference to system.windows.forms okay and with those references now all that we have to do is write our main function the logic for that so the logic's actually really simple and we just need to use so we created a new namespace over here it's called captura so now we just need to use that namespace to be able to reference our screen recorder logic. So within the main, we really only need one line. And this one line, I'm just going to copy and paste it for simplicity. So this one line, it's going to record the screen and print, or not print, it's going to output the video to an out.avi file that will be located in the project's bin. And I'll show you that here in a second. This 10 is the frames per second. So 10 frames per second, which is pretty low, but <clears throat> you know I'm not going for quality right now. You can mess around with the settings. Um, and then let's see here. So this is motion JPEG. And then we got 70% quality. So you could turn this up to 100%, uh, but there again, you're going to have a larger file size. So this is this one line does the recorder. And then I'm just going to add three more lines just for aesthetic purposes. Um, you, do, you will need the console.read key so your program doesn't just end. But, yep, so we are going to write line, press any key to stop. Wait until the user presses a key, and at that point, our recorder will stop. It'll be disposed of, program will end. So let's go ahead and press start here. And at this point, it should be recording. I'll move the console window off. Um, so if I zoom in, zoom out, let's do something like that. And then bring the console window on over, and I'll press a key. So now we want to take a look at our bin. 
So within the repository or your working directory, so you'll go to, mine's called Screen Recorder. So Screen Recorder, uh, Screen Recorder. And then in the bin, Debug, because this is a debug project up here. And then I have this out.avi. So I just double click this file and it opens in Movies and TV, I think is the app name. It's whatever Windows names it. Um, and then you'll notice it is, you know, zooming in and out, just like what I was doing while the screen was being recorded. So I hope this video helps. You know, it's a really basic implementation of a screen recorder, but I thought it was pretty neat how easy it was to get this up and running. I know that I mentioned this earlier, but I will be making a GitHub repository to house the code that I showed you in this video. So if you want to, you know, just copy and paste it into your own project, feel free to just check out my GitHub repository. The link will be in the description down below. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or discussion, or you just want to get in contact with me, I will leave my Discord server in the description down below as well. And as always, thanks for watching and stay safe, everybody.